probably been a little better than that in the clutch, these kinds of situations. Even if he makes them both, still plenty of time to where Indiana doesn't have to go for the three jump. A lot of time on the clock here. Again, one and one. Oh, Indiana now. With a trip to take the lead back. You got to go fairly soon if you're Indiana and you want to do something inside. Merrill with 18. Well, I think they should be going earlier. Deller inside, puts it up, and Indiana's back in front with 13 seconds. Six unanswered by the Hoosiers. Ten seconds to go. Will Indiana win it out right, or will Michigan gain a tie? Burke inside, long put back, rolls off the rim, tapped out to Zeller, and the Hoosiers, the Hoosiers win it out right. cannot believe how close that came to falling in. It hung on the rim. Wow. Morgan with the putback. And now everyone holding their breath. And Indiana, for the first time since 1993, takes the Big Ten title outright. The last six points of the game to Indiana. And Zeller able to catch it and get an easy look at it, but missed free throws by Michigan, Jim. And look how close this ball came to going in on the tap in by Jordan Morgan. One more revolution to the right, and it's in the hole, and Michigan celebrated. Michigan had those two one and ones in the last minute, missing both front ends. And Jim, you wonder sometimes when you take your team off of the foul line in that situation, is it disconcerting to the shooter? Indiana, the Big Ten champions. For Clark Kellogg's, Jim Nance saying so long from Ann Arbor. Where our final score is Indiana 72 and Michigan 71. Tonight on CBS, 60 minutes, amazing race, good life. The medalist. We're heading on to the Big Ten tournament next week. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Home of the 2000.